When I first came down here, I thought the video I'd like to make is just, I don't know, I just wanted to sort of automatically respond to like being at a seaside town, all the memories it evoked, all the, all the kind of present feelings uh, around it. I didn't want to think about it too much, I just wanted to make something um, more, more kind of immediate. Um, and I watched lots of children's TV with my two little kids and, it, you know, it's all about talking animals, CGI animals, and I, I, I wanted them in it. I wanted it to be kind of cute because to me that sort of embodied something about sort of contemporary popular culture. So I wanted that, I wanted this real pop feeling, but then I wanted to put that pop feeling against the kind of, um, that sense I have, I don't think everyone has it, but I have quite a kind of phobia to come to the sea at night. It, it kind of, I just find it very disturbing. So the original title for the video was gonna be Rainbow Unicorn versus the Dismal Tide. Like to me, coming to Margate, um, there's this real sense of then and now and, and the seafront and the sea, this kind of human activity and this sort of, you know, non-human um, space. And I just started, I, yeah, I just started making things out of that, trying things out. And uh, we came down here and filmed a lot at night. So I had lots of footage of that. I had these toys and I was just sort of collaging things together till it started to make sense. The way I try and make any kind of work or, or, or any respond to any kind of in invitation is to, um, is just to absorb as much information as I can about that theme, the topic. And you know, it was obvious I was going to make something about the seaside and dreamland. Um, and so I'm just, I'm, you know, the first port of call for me is just Google. I'm just Googling lots of things. I'm just trying to, trying to um, gather as much information as I can. And in that, in that, you know, in that search, I found the origin of the meaning of the phrase in the offing. Uh, which I didn't know before. I mean, I, I kind of, I don't use it as an everyday thing, but you, you know, we come across it now and then. And then to find out that this is the offing that we're looking on now. So the offing is kind of between the, uh, the wind farm and here, where the shore, or actually truly it'd be like the docks. So there's a ship way over there. That ship's in the offing. So that's in the offing. So we know, well, Back in the day, you would have known that that ship was heading into harbour. Now they just stay in the offing, which is kind of weird in, in terms of what this phrase means to me. It's like, because the offing is like some kind of in-between state, some kind of, uh, it's almost like some um, transitional state from coming in from the ocean to land. And now these ships just stay there. So they never, they never, they never dock anymore. They just stay out there in the offing. It is, uh, you know, they never arrive. Um, and maybe that says something about um, contemporary life. I don't know. So once I had this, this, this idea, this concept of in the offing, it was, it was, it kind of lent itself to the suggestion that. Uh, Artists who you might not know yet are kind of coming, coming in, coming towards us, moving in from the future, or the, or you know, to to uh, <laughs> I'm losing my metaphor, moving towards us in the present. So I like you know that that lends itself to the idea of like young artists who were in the show, and then that meant that getting young artists involved would see me in some kind of curatorial role, which I didn't really want to be a curator or call myself a curator. So I thought I'd just pretend to be a magazine editor instead. 
you know, there's too many there's too many concerns in curating that I'm aware of, but I don't know enough about um, magazine editors to be to know what their concerns are. So I could just imagine it in quite a kind of breezy, light way, which is what I wanted.